What's going on guys, it's Kuday here, and today we are going to be doing a video on Survivor Mode uh, Faction Wars, and we may talk about 4.0, a couple things that I want to say, but for the most part, I'll actually just be playing with a Brutality team, MK11 Sindel and Dark Fate Terminator. Now, normally Guardian Terminator goes in this spot uh, because I like the character lineup now. They are actually giving Faction Wars boost to most characters. I know this isn't news because they've been giving uh, these characters bonuses for a while now, but I just want to appreciate just how many uh, new characters are finally getting bonuses. It's just unfortunate that MK11 Sindel is the only one on this team who isn't getting boost. So let's have a look at my setup here. I promised I would play the Brutality team on Sindel for a very long time now, and I think it's about time I actually do it. So let's play this Brutality team once again. This is Sindel with her tin Tamers as Sinful Whip. Then we have my boy Johnny being a simp for Sindel as always. And lastly, Misfortune Teller, because we all know what Weakened Dad is. It's an amazing shield equipment, but not everyone has Misfortune Teller. Most people have this one by now because it's so common for being a rare. Oh, I forgot to show my uh, Terminator equipment. There's my Terminator equipment. Pretty standard. It's just his brutality gear. I don't really need this. I just like putting their own equipments on the team. I don't like to deviate from that. And then we have the Shura Ryu tower gear fully maxed out on Strike Force Scorpion. A lot of people ask for my talent setup and for this occasion, nothing fancy. We got Brutal Ending. It's not maxed out because eh. I don't really need to be that maxed out. And supports, this is my support system. I could have a defense set up, but I don't really want Revenant. We have Weakened Dad. We have Strike Force Scorpion. That's pretty important this time. We have Strike Force Scorpion so that hopefully we can prevent our teams from dying without having to use equipment or relying on luck. Because Strike Force Scorpion is a guaranteed save. So as long as our Strike Force Scorpion doesn't go down, and I pray he doesn't, but as long as he doesn't go down, this is an automatic win. And also Dark Fate Terminator can go down realistically since he can just fight with his little cyborg thing. Obviously, we aren't going to show all of the battles. We're going to show the best ones. And I wanted to open up this Faction Wars offer. Faction Wars offer, is it always the same? I haven't checked. Probably is the same. Besides that support card. Now let's skip to fight 10. All right, we are finally fighting some diamond teams. Let's get to it. Now, my thoughts on Sindel are, ever since the upgrade with the equipment, she is pretty decent. I still don't think she's an outcast, as in she's nothing too special, but with Brutality Gear, she's finally usable. I really did not like her before Brutality Gear, and thank goodness we have a shield on because that could have been terrible. Well, not really, since we have Scorpion. Okay, let's stun him. No, 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 no. That's right. Oh, okay, well, Strike Force Scorpion's gonna come in hot and save us. All right, let's kill off Melina and then immediately tag out to Dark Fate Terminator because then he would get a refresh or someone would save him. Use SP2. Yeah, going down, son. We don't have to worry about Johnny. He does literally no damage to me. <laughs> Dark Fate Terminator just has so much health that is ridiculous. Even at base max stats, you don't even have to put any equipment on. He has just have so much HP. We can maybe do brutality. And screw it, let's go for it. Well, my dreams of doing brutality have been crushed. Okay, please... Yeah. So, MK Mobile is in an interesting predicament. They decided to repeat a uh, normal tower instead of a fatal tower. And on top of that, the normal tower that they repeated was something they already repeated. Which is not a great look for MK Mobile. It makes things very difficult for the average player to grind. Uh, who's a veteran, you know for a beginner. This is not a big deal In fact, I think this is a good thing for a beginner as I've always said about the sorcerer's tower normal 
but for veterans or people who already have the equipment maxed, like they, like I know so many people who they spent money, yes, real money to max out the Sorcerer's Tower gear to max fusion. And now they are being rewarded with nothing but the same exact tower, but a normal variant, which means they get to in expand about their equipment. Not at all. And if they have like one epic they need to finish maxing out, they can't because this is a normal tower, which means epics are not guaranteed. It's not a great state. Uh, I hope that if we have something like this happen similarly, that they decide to bring a fatal and normal at the same time. Uh, I already went over like the, the types of towers that I've, I would want, you know, not Twisted Tower. I would hope for an old tower, maybe a semi-new one like Earthrealm, Adenian. So an old one, Black Dragon, uh, Tower of Horror, something not special that's a normal variant. It doesn't give you any epic equipment, but it is there for people who are beginners who want to grind those old gears and also for us, the players who have everything maxed out. Another question I've been asked a lot is if there's any news for updates and whatnot. And besides Mick Pat tweeting that they're looking for more developers, for MK Mobile, game developers slash game designers. I don't really understand that job position since it's kind of a two in one. I didn't really know that exists because a developer and game designer is like two different types of <laughs> jobs right there. So I'm a little surprised that they're looking for both and a, as a contractor. Besides that, there hasn't been anything uh, interesting news wise. A lot of people are pointing towards the Belgium uh, shutdown for MK Mobile as a sign that the update will be dropping on some sometime at the end of December. So, so the, September 27th to 30th should be when the next content update comes. I think we're gonna use Dark Fate Timiter's Brutality. Okay, never mind. I've actually noticed an increase in viewership for MK Mobile, and that might be from the Sorcerer's Tower Normal. Believe it or not, I don't think the Sorcerer's Tower Normal killed the game. I think it did actually help with the amount of frustration players have been facing. Uh, Twisted Tower Normal and Fatal was extremely difficult, and I, I did notice a lot of comments from people who wanted to know strategies for the tower, and there just wasn't very many solutions. A lot of people point towards Legend Diaz, uh, which I've mentioned many times. I've talked to him personally. Uh, he's a great guy, and I think he makes amazing videos. It's just extremely difficult, regardless of whether you apply some Legend Diaz knowledge uh, and try to beat those towers. It's just, it's, it's a complicated mess. has to bring something spectacular, a new game mode. It needs to bring uh, not just a new tower, like we're, we're done with new towers. Ever since Twisted Tower, which was the all, all for one modifier, like I'm just done with this. <laughs> you know, a Denian, I could put up with it and holy crap, they actually killed two of our characters off. Doesn't matter though. Adenian, Earthrealm, even Dark Queens, I could put up with those a, a little bit, but I just drew the line at Twisted Tower because it just limited so much strategy by making you use one character and have one bar of power actively. The next two characters that will come out will hopefully be a poll winner, which uh, I need to go over the poll winners, don't I? Kind of a uh, interesting gameplay here, by the way. I'm just absolutely wrecking these guys. They have no chance. I wouldn't say this is the perfect team because without equipment, maybe it would struggle. No, probably not. This team would still be very good without any sort of brutality equipment. Strike for Scorpion, you put him on any team and he just solves so many problems. Well, not when that happens. Oh gosh. All right, we need to make sure not to have Strike for Scorpion interrupted and killed. Okay, tag out. We don't want to deal with noobs. Oh, well, noobs have buzz. Pretty underleveled. Uh, kill this bad boy off. Well, never mind. <laughs> never mind then, I guess. Let's use Sendel. Okay, whatever. Scorpion, do what, do what you want. 
who no one cares. Ben, join me. Still one of the most epic victory stances. I, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I I was so excited to see this so long ago. Ooh, this looks interesting to say the least. He's even got Linkway gear maxed out. Nice job. I am anxious to fight this one. I could have sworn I used this team before, but with maybe Injustice 2 Raiden. Not 100% sure on that. But this is an epic 15th battle. The poll winners still coming to Mortal Kombat are Corrupted Shinnok, MK11 Melina, MK11 Frost, and Injustice 2 Sub-Zero. I'm like 99% sure that one of those folks are going to be coming in the next update. And if you want my personal opinion, most likely Injustice 2 Sub-Zero or MK11 Melina. It's about damn time that we get another MK11 Melina. Uh, or sorry, not MK11 Melina. It's about damn time that we get a Melina character, a new one, because we have a assassin one, and I like her. I like Ravenous Melina, but she's not a combat intuitive character. It doesn't feel like you can just spam her endlessly. Even Sindel has better basic attacks, in my personal opinion. And holy, we just got slam dunked. Oh, no, 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 no. I do not want to get destroyed by you. Okay. I can never do the whole frame timing. <laughs> okay, tag out. Don't want to deal with Fire God King. He's going to use his SP1. Doesn't have anything happen from it. He didn't even get a fire stack. That's embarrassing. Goodbye, Fire God King. Which team is better? What do you guys think? They have really good, good equipments and everything, but we're still destroying them. Maybe this is a live setting we still lose. I had a lot of people tell me that they want to see oh okay then a lot of people said they wanted to see live gameplay fighting a real person uh in real time okay and i don't think it's a good idea it's not going to work combat won't work that way we actually smacked those 15 battles down perfectly uh strike for scorpion no wonder we absolutely dominated Maybe we should set up an Elder God team now. Now let's just do some quick play for now. Corrupted Shinnok is going to be an interesting addition. If 4.0 does bring a new game mode, I highly suspect it could be another relic hunt for Corrupted Shinnok. If there's anything we can give MK Mobile uh, points on, it's consistency. They aren't, they aren't consistent about a lot of things, but one thing that MK Mobile is extremely consistent about is Reptile, Classic Reptile, and Shao Kahn. They are extremely consistent about making sure he is only in Relic, Relic Hunt. I, I know Reptile isn't only in the Reptile event, uh, he's in Classic Packs and whatnot. But for Shao Kahn, you cannot buy him. He is impossible to buy. You have to play the Relic on game mode. And I think that is possible in the future that they will bring another exclusive character like Corrupted Shinnok. It can't hurt them financially if they would just release three characters at once. It really wouldn't hurt them financially. They could just release two paid characters that are extremely good. Injustice 2 Sub-Zero, MK11 Melina, and then they can throw Corrupted Shinnok into the mix as a unreleased game mode and maybe bring it out like a couple months afterwards sure people would maybe break the hype by knowing it exists i still think it's a great idea though i would be extremely happy to see an implementation of uh corrupt chunk in in a game mode of some kind something new that's not a tower and we need something to play with friends i do like the idea of a clan like uh, Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, you know you have a clan, right? And you fight in your clan. You never fight your clan members, right? But you fight other people. And maybe you could grind to make your clan the number one clan in Mortal Kombat. So I guess you could say that you're competing with other factions to have the highest leaderboards? I guess, but not really. Because the, these numbers are just numbers that people come up with. It doesn't affect... You don't get anything from the Brotherhood of Shadow. You just get your own Faction Wars reward. Which is just a weird system. We're normalized to it now because we've been having it for so long. 
but I would like something different than this. And I'm sure they can implement it pretty easily. Those guys are great developers. And before I go, the store situation, let's just talk about it for one split second. <sighs> this is just embarrassing. I, I don't even have words for this. I just don't. I don't want to get too negative. Uh, this doesn't even come with his brutality gear. It's just MK11 Sub-Zero for $20. Oh my goodness. This is just the Christmas pack. It's holiday button. The holiday soul box. It's the, it's the Christmas bundle. Why is it here? It's not Christmas. Like, that's all I have to say. It's, it's not Christmas. And this bundle sucks. It really sucks. $10, 20% chance. But... Wow, you get 750 souls. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> no, I just, I can't understand these packs. I really can't. We need something reworked. And soul packs, you know, come up with a new currency if you don't want to use souls anymore. If packs are no longer your thing, come up with a new currency and let's start spending this new currency for actual characters so we can buy characters or buy packs you know i don't even want to buy a new character i want to buy a pack and and have a thrill of opening it and you could say but kude they have packs for new characters right here in the shop like the ten dollar twenty percent chance ones well those are not fun to open they're so predictable i want something new i want a new pack design i want a, a new currency I want the thrill of getting that 4% chance or whatever, rather than a $10, 20% chance where I see my wallet go down instead of a currency that I have to grind to get. I know not everyone grinds for souls, which is why they might have to come up with a new currency. Uh, souls are deflated. It is no longer something I can uh, defend. You know, souls, they don't have as much value as they used to. And it's why most people do not buy soul packages from the Discord server, uh, they don't they don't buy as many soul packages anymore. There's, there's people who bundle them with random diamonds, but to buy soul packages alone is really rare. Well, first off, because they don't make soul packs as often, but also because the soul value has been deflated over the span of years, where they have done nothing but push crap at us, tap joy and whatnot. And that is affecting the soul packs and the paid packs. So we just need a complete rework of that. Change this whole menu. Change the, the, change the packs that come. I don't care. Just do anything different. Well, that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, peace out.